Hello everybody, Josh Twell back here again with another video and I'm here to give you another Bambi Superman Dawn of Justice topic video. But I'm not only going to talk about Bambi Superman, I'm also going to sprinkle some Marvel in here considering the fact that today's topic video both contains Marvel and DC. And you want to know why? Well, considering the fact that comicbook.com has been reporting that Daredevil Season 2 will be premiering on March 25th, it just feels appropriate, if you will. Now, for those of you who don't know why it's so, I guess, a, such a big problem of debate and discussion, or it was reported, because, for one, it's not really 100% confirmed. I know comicbook.com is reporting on it, and we all knew that Daredevil Season 2 would be premiering this year sometime in March, but but it just didn't seem like that big of a problem. And plus, you know, like Marvel and Netflix hasn't really confirmed it, at, at, at least at the point of me recording this video. So I really didn't really care or have any kind of standing in this debate or discussion. However, now that I have time to really discuss uh, this topic and really de deconstruct it in my mind, it's really become really a double-sided kind of discussion where it's just this is either one of the best things ever or the worst things ever now first things first it's a bad thing if you are specifically a fan who's brand exclusive or medium exclusive now what that means is is that there's a gigantic uh, fan base of people who are big into comic books but who are brand exclusive who specifically only praise DC or only praise Marvel which I think is kind of a terrible way to live or your your fanboy kind of lifestyle which just feels just unnecessary and stupid but at the end of the day there is a gigantic population of people who just specifically do that and then there's the brand um, there's the medium exclusive people who are specifically just TV watchers, live streaming watchers, or movie watchers, and they won't really care about this kind of scenario. And then there's the good parts, the amazing parts, which is pretty much the best way to live and the way I'm pretty much going to do it and, I, and the reasoning why this is not a big deal, which is... Number one, you get to see Batman and Superman Dawn of Justice, something you've never seen before. Batman and Superman in a freaking movie together for the first time ever in a theater. You get to go watch that and it's awesome. It's badass. It could be the greatest DC comic book movie of all time or it could be the worst. We don't know, but I definitely want to see it and I'm pretty sure a lot of you as well. And then you get to come home and binge watch Daredevil Season 2 for the rest of the weekend. I mean, come on, that sounds like a win-win scenario with everyone involved. However, I can see the problems in this. I can see the problems as to where this could be a major impact with not only Bami Superman's, uh, I guess, box office earnings, but also could be a you know bad business for like live Netflix's live streaming. I mean, like, there's just those percentages of people who will just not care about Marvel's Daredevil series. They're just, they're going to see this as an act of, you know, disrespect, and they're just going to like, you know what, fuck Daredevil season 2, I'm not going to binge watch, I'm not going to watch it, I'm not going to give, you know, Netflix the ratings and shit, fuck them for doing this. And then there's going to the people who say, well, fuck Batman and Superman, I'm not going to watch that, I saw the trailer, it sucked, fuck Batman and Superman, I'm going to fucking binge watch Daredevil season 2 all week. There's just that percentages, and you can't stop that, and that's going to be both major, that's going to have some possible major impacts with both of these mediums. I mean, like, there's just those percentages of people who are just specifically dedicated to live streaming, or dedicated to seeing the movies, or dedicated to just watching anything TV. There's just those kind of percentages, so I can see where it could be just a major impact for both mediums. However, if you're smart, and you're sane, and you like both Marvel and DC, and you support the comic book superhero genre like an intelligent person should, then this is not a major problem. It's not. I feel like this is just a problem for people who are, like I stated, brand exclusive or medium exclusive. It's really a problem for those two percentages of the population. But overall, people, this is just not a big problem. I mean, like, if you're brand exclusive or medium exclusive, this is just a major problem for you. And if that is an actual major problem, then, you know, then maybe you don't really deserve Daredevil Season 2 or you deserve Batman Superman Dawn of Justice. I specifically feel like the best way to play this out is to support both. 
Just go to the theater early in the morning or have an early screening, the midnight screening or fucking see in the afternoon at night. Who the hell knows? Go out, see it in the theater. And if you loved it, you loved it. Or you hate it, you hate it. And then you come home and you get to binge watch Daredevil season two. I mean, like, that sounds like the perfect quintessential weekend for comic book fans right there. That sounds like an event weekend. Just go to the theater, watch Batman Superman at Dawn of Justice. Then I get to come home and fucking watch and binge on Daredevil season two. That's a win-win scenario. I don't see why it's such a big problem, but let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. I know a lot of people are considering this like a disrespect or like uh, Marvel and Netflix are, you know, starting war and all that kind of weird nonsense. I just feel like, come on, who really cares? I mean, I mean, granted, it is kind of a dumb move for both parties to just have... It's, it's kind of like the, the, the same problem that... Uh, Batman Superman Dawn of Justice had when it was going up against Captain America Civil War back when it was just called Captain America 3. I felt like it was just a stupid move as is. But at the same time, it's like, well, I'm still going to watch both of those on the same day. It just That just sounds like an awesome day. You get to see both of those movies on the same fucking day? Awesome. But at the same time, I could see why it's such a dumb business plan. And maybe this is the same thing. Maybe it's also just another bad business plan where it's like you're just... You know, you're taking away all the streaming fans or you're taking away all the seats in the theater. I really don't know. We have to wait and see what happens on March 25th to really come up with the actual logical answer to this problem. But at the end of the day, that just sounds like an awesome weekend. Get to go see Bounty Stream at Dawn of Justice for the first time ever in a the theater and then come home and binge watch season two of Daredevil, which I'm also very anticipated to see. That's a win-win scenario. But let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. Shameless plug time. Follow me to Instagram. At Jock12, subscribe to my channel if you've done so already. And hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Jock12.